So now let us talk about saving the data. Um, finally, we have to save the data into the file system using text file format and the delimiter is comma. That is as per our problem statement. We already got the data in the way we want. The data has to be sorted in ascending order by date and then by uh, revenue in descending order and we want to get the product uh, details such as name. Okay, so saving uh, uh, to text file is very straightforward. You just have to take this RDD and then you have to perform an action called save as text file. Okay, so whenever you have to create files in the form of text file, you can use this. But on top of it, you can also see several other actions like save as sequence file, save as object file, etc. And you can see that save as sequence file and save as object file is not supported in Python. So you don't need to worry too much about this. Um, as part of uh, uh, SQL context or Spark SQL and data frames, there are other APIs where you can actually save the data into other file formats such as JSON, Avro, ORC, etc. But for now, we'll be using save as text file to save our output to HDFS and it just takes a path which does not exist. Okay, the path should not exist. And as our cluster, which uh, where I'm demonstrating is uh, already integrated with HDFS, by default, whatever path we give, it will try to save it into the HDFS path. It does not save to the local path, it will save into the HDFS path. So whatever path we are going to give, for example, in this case, as part of save as text file, I want to give this path, slash user slash my user ID, which is dgajraju, you should use your user ID if you are using my lab. And then you have to give the directory name to which data should be copied. In this case, I'm saying daily revenue per product. So this is the directory name. And before running this, we just need to make sure that this path does not exist in HDFS. Okay. You can see it is saying there is no such file or directory. So now we will use this path to save our data. I'm launching PySpark again. And then uh, what we need, what we have done from the beginning, first we read the data of orders and we filtered it using accumulator. Once that is done, we have converted orders into key value pair as well as order items. Once that is done, we actually joined both orders and order items. Yeah, we, I don't need to copy paste this piece. I can ignore this. This is good enough. Order join is good enough. Once that is done, as problem statement says, we should use broadcast variable to join product and get the uh, revenue for the order date and product name. So this logic will create the broadcast variable. And while getting, uh, uh, after joining, while getting uh, uh, the data with the appropriate key and value, the key being order date, uh, as well as the product name, and the value being order uh, item subtotal, I have done lookup into the broadcast variable and got the product name by passing product ID. Once that is done, we have computed daily revenue for product name. Once it is done, we actually sorted the data by applying the map function, we have negated the order revenue so that we can get the data, uh, data in descending order as part of the key. And then we actually sorted the data uh, by key, which is nothing but order date and negated order revenue. Okay, once that is done, we converted the results into the way we want, which is nothing but order date comma order revenue comma order um, product name 
okay so this this one have the data the way we want you can see the data here okay and then we save the data back to hdfs using this command which is uh, to save to user dgadraju daily revenue per product now we can copy this path and run hadoop fs hyphen ls the path and you can see the you can see that there are four files um, which which, uh, which have the data the way we want and we can also say hadoop fs hyphen cat slash part star cat will actually print everything uh, from each of these files and you can see it here there are 9000 odd uh, records and all those records are sorted in ascending order by date and then descending order by uh, order revenue and also we got the product name so this is how you can actually save the data okay